Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the SkyPad 3.0 XL. Lethal Gaming Gear was kind enough to send this pad out alongside a few other things I will be reviewing in the future. They also provided me with an official affiliate code. So you can use code STUBBY for 5% off all your purchases on their website for anything. So let's talk about this mouse pad. So when I first got this mouse pad, I was surprised at how fast it was. Coming from stuff like the Heian, the Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn Pro, and from my most recent review, the Spire Low Key, I was unsure how I'd feel about a full glass mouse pad, just based off the fact that I've never used something this fast before. My fastest pad prior to this was the Lethal Gaming Gear Mercury, which is more of a Heian clone, but a little bit speedier than a Heian, if, it, if I were to compare it to anything. My initial impressions were, this is just too fast this is just too fast on mouse pad i'll never get used to this so i kept swapping between the sky pad and my artist in zero just so i could get some kind of like comfort to go back to but after a while it just kind of felt amazing it took about two days to fully adjust and when i say that i'm adjusted and pretty much can't remove this mouse pad off of my my desk it's locked it's on there what i've been doing recently is i've just been putting mouse pads on top of this mouse pad for testing and then i would just take it off and continue to use the sky pad there have been releases of the Razer Atlas and these Pulsar Super Glide, so I will be getting those soon too to test out. And yeah, I'll let you guys know my opinion on those. This mouse pad is 500 by 400, and it's probably the best size I can ask for. I've never had issues with 490 by 410 mouse pads, which is like the common eSports size. But since I play at the top of the mouse pad, the extra couple of millimeters makes it just so much better to play on compared to a 490 by 410 mouse pad where I feel like I have to push the mouse pad further up than I would keep it closer to the edge of my desk and flush, which is how I kind of prefer the mouse pad to be. It's 3.5 millimeters thick. It's not something you're going to notice. It is 0.5 millimeter thicker than the three millimeter x-ray pad, or I think most pro series lethal gaming gear pads, but it's not something that you'd be like, oh, I aim differently because I'm 0.5 millimeters higher than my last mouse pad. Like it's not something you're going to notice. If anything, this mouse pad will point out all of the flaws in your aim that a cloth pad won't do. You won't dig into the pad, so it'll just be you and your sensor gliding on a completely smooth surface. It's not something you use as a crutch as compared to something like an Artisan Zero, Lethal Gaming, or Saturn, or Heian, where you can dig into the pad a bit to kind of like crutch on the fact that your aim probably isn't the best. But a sky pad will show all your imperfections and it's so much easier to improve your aim with a sky pad. From what I've noticed, the last four days I've had the pad, it has been insanely eye-opening to how I aim. And when going back to cloth pads, it, 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 it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a game changer. The packaging was standard for glass pads. It was a black box with the sky pad logo on top. I'll be putting B-roll footage here so you can see it. It was a black box with sky pad logo on it and foam on all four sides and on top of the pad. So there was absolutely no damaging... And coming from Lethal Gaming Gear, the shipping was really nice as well. It came in a really large box with a lot of padding and uh, like air cushioning on the inside. So the pad got absolutely no damage to it whatsoever. And just a couple things to note. Like if you live in a humid environment, that it's probably better to wear like an arm sleeve like I am now. I do stay in the southern side of Michigan and it gets very humid, like very humid. So I do like to wear an arm sleeve while I play with the mouse pad on more humid days. And on days where it's kind of like not that humid i can use just my arm and know and it'll be the same experience but if you live in a very humid environment where it gets really hot and your arm gets to sweating a lot there is a sleeve that i would recommend getting i got it on amazon for about ten dollars i'll put a link in the description but it's something that i do recommend getting just like a basic basketball sleeve will do you fine but skypad does sell their own brand of sleeves i think it's about twenty dollars i wouldn't really pay that for a skypad sleeve Unless you just really like the design of them. There's a lot of designer uh, sleeves as well. But just a basic black basketball sleeve will do you just fine. And the one thing to note about glass pads is how long they last and how easy they are to clean. All you have to do is just take a little bit of Windex ch -ch, on, the front, on the top of the pad and then just a little bit of towel. And you're good. You don't have to do anything else past that. You don't got to dunk it in water, scrub it, and then let it dry for a couple hours. No, you just Windex, wipe it down, give it about 30 seconds, and it's good to be used again. 
And since it is a glass pad, it should theoretically last forever. I have heard cases of the sky pad bending, but I, I think those are far and few between. I haven't seen too many of them, but I do know that is a issue that they do have. So just be aware of that when you're looking into getting a sky pad. Do not use glass skates on your glass pads. When I first got the mouse pad, I also received my G Pro Super Light with Super Glides on it. And for about 10 minutes, I, I had used it. And in using it for that 10 minutes, I kind of chipped the top of the mouse pad here where I normally aim. And that is all I feel on the mouse pad. Uh, I have been in contact with the gaming gear, so hopefully I can be getting sent a new one to send the, the, this one back. But I have chipped the top and it is just absolutely unplayable at times. But I think I've kind of smoothened it out with how much I've been using the pad recently. But just do not use glass feet. Um, it's not recommended. Everyone says this. If you want to get a glass feet and try it on the glass pad, you're welcome to do so. But you have been warned by who knows how many other YouTubers. Another thing to note is that is if you eat around your setup a lot, it's not recommended to really like eat around your setup because the crumbs on the mouse pad feel absolutely terrible. Like when I say that they feel really bad, they feel really bad. So if you do eat, just do like a quick swipe off, just a quick swipe on the mouse pad. Make sure you get all the dust off before you use it because that grinding in between your mouse gates will absolutely damage the pad. Just if you get like too much pressure on there and it starts digging in there if your food's that hard or something. But yeah, I think that's it. I do have a Discord server where you're free to talk, chat, ask questions, do whatever you want to do as long as it's not like against TOS, obviously. And I do plan on running another giveaway at 1,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. It will be a mouse and mouse pad giveaway of the winner's choice. So if the winner wanted a Starlight 10s and a Saturn Pro, it's theirs. But that will be at 1,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. But as I said, that is all. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.